Have you broken your bone before or know someone who has? As you grow older, the risk of breaking a bone will skyrocket. By age 65, one in two women and one in three men will have a fracture in their lifetime. For a problem as common as high blood pressure or high cholesterol, how have you been monitoring your bone health? As the bone ages and becomes more fragile, a simple fall at home can lead to severe fractures. This may mean a permanent loss of mobility or independent living and prolonged hospital stay for weeks to months. Learn to look after our bone from a younger age is the key to avoid these terrible problems. Today, we will talk about the bone healing process, how we can make sure it heals well, and most importantly, how to prevent fracture in the first place. When the fracture occurs, the initial phase is bleeding. This will form a hematoma at the fracture site during the first week. This hematoma and inflammation produce chemicals called cytokine to attract bone-building cells to the location. The first cells to start the repairing process will build fibrous framework and lay cartilage at the fracture site. After a couple of weeks, an area of cartilage called soft callus are formed. The soft callus will help to give some initial stability, but not enough to allow bone to reform. From two to six weeks, the soft callus made of cartilage are gradually replaced by bone-building cells. This forms the hard callus that can be visible on the X-ray. After six weeks, the bone regain its strength and gradually turn over itself to return to the normal shape. To make sure the bone heals well, we need adequate biological environment and sufficient mechanical stability. Good blood supply to the fracture site is important for all building cells to arrive to the initial hematoma, and good nutrition helps these cells to function well for the repair process. Infection at the fracture site or smoking are both detrimental to the healing process. Secondly, we need mechanical stability. We often use plaster cast to keep the fracture stable. For this wrist fracture, the plaster cast is applied and molded on both sides to reduce the deformed wrist and keep it stable within the cast. The cast usually stays on for six weeks until hard callus is visible on the X-ray. Sometimes when the fracture is still unstable in the cast, surgery is performed to stabilize the fracture internally and prevent deformity during fracture healing. In this case, plate and screws are applied to the wrist fracture. Certain fractures in the leg cannot be loaded by the body weight during the healing process. This may cause fracture to be unstable and delay healing. Finally, and most importantly, there are two main ways to prevent fractures. Most of these can be easily done ourselves, to help build our bone strong and to prevent falling. Osteoporosis is the leading cause of fractures, particularly in women over the age of 50. In addition to diet high in calcium and vitamin D, additional supplements are essential to reduce bone loss. A bone density scan is indicated if you are in the high-risk group of further fractures. This will help confirm the diagnosis of osteoporosis. Once diagnosed, an effective treatment can begin with a yearly injection. Fall prevention is also something easily done at home. Regular exercise focusing on balance not only help with bone strength, but also reduce the risk of falls. Declutter the house particularly around the stairs, as well as having good lighting can all help to prevent falls. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave comments below and subscribe.